Oh, satisfying click here. Right, you are maybe not flaps. Welcome to another episode of Dutch Bushcraft Lives. And today we are testing a very special knife, namely the Rokka. A knife designed to be both a bushcrafting knife and a military knife. We have not seen that combination being done successfully, but once. And that was the Yakari Puko, a absolute indestructible knife. We could not break it. But actually, there might be a new sheriff in town. The Rocker knife, yo. This is exactly what I want from a, a bushcrafting, jack of all trades, but master at none, but always better than a master at one knife. It is a true, amazing, traditional Scandi. I mean, look at... Oh! I hurt my God. nipple a little bit. <laughs> I hurt my nipple. <laughs> Marta already said before the video, because I was so enthusiastic about it, that this knife was mine now. So thank you very much, Martin. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. The special thing about this knife, compared to all the other knives that we have tested so far, is that the spine is actually really soft. Whereas the outer edge is 63 HRC. It's so that really should well. give it the best balance between edge retention and sturdiness. Now you're about to witness something that you cannot believe. This skill measures how much force it takes to cut a wire and a very sharp knife is around 140 grams and a hmm okay one is around 200 grams. And look at this knife. <gasps> oh, very nice, very, very nice. You know what? I'm going to strap it with the DBK strap. Yeah. Mickey, that's already the sharpest military knife that we have ever seen. Jeez, that is extremely sharp. That is, no, it is actually as sharp as a razor. Yeah, that's crazy. It is actually as a spit again. And it doesn't stop there. This knife went beyond any other knife that we've tested, yes. maybe. I've never seen a knife do this with a factory edge. Factory edge, can it split a hair? Oh, oh, let me see the hair. Oh my god, Martin, do you see it? Yeah. But this is unbelievable. Oh, 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 it goes Again. on. Oh, it goes on. That is unbelievable. This is the sharpest factory edge that we've seen up to now. Very well made. How expensive is this? I think it was one, around 130 euros. Jeez. This video is sponsored by uh, DPK. You can now directly support the channel by buying from our web shop, dpkshop.com. If you like bushcraft and knives, we got you covered. Collecting wood for a fire. We got you covered. Fire steel or zippo belt attachment. Got you covered. Foraging pouch, budget friendly knife sheets, silky saw sheaths. Damn it. We got you covered. Did I mention these are all handmade in Spain? You only care about knives, huh? I get it. DPK 0.25 micron is back to go what is beyond. Sharp. Now head over to dbkshop.com and buy what your heart desires. Oh yeah, DBK shirts back in stock. Back to the video. I have to show you this sheath because it is really good, look. Whoa. Yeah. No, it, it is really tight in there. Really, really secure. Whereas the uh, Benchmade Puko. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and I mean, that's not, that's not a huge problem because if you just... But don't in do the anything military, crazy with it. With military, this, you don't need to worry about it getting loose yeah. because it actually clicks out. It clicks in there. Listen to this. You didn't hear it, but we, I did, and the audience did. And yeah. That's the only thing that's important hey, And to I me. think the, even the sheet is made from recycled materials. Not sure, but I think so. Go for it, dude. We're gonna do some harding, but. We're gonna do some harder batoning later on, but... Jeez! I mean, isn't that crazy? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my god. I'm 
gonna rate this eight and a half for feather stick. Whoa, this knife is scoring. Yeah, very high. We're not beating around the bush. Or well, we're beating in the bush, but ha 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 ha. We're going with some tough wood to begin with. But that's full of knots. <laughs> and uh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm worried about the fact that uh, the edge is really hard uh, for ADC or V2. Yeah, let's go. Hey, 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 my hand! Okay. Seemed like we grabbed one hell of a piece to baton purely by coincidence. This wood was actually bending the knife. And also the handle actually started to create some hot spots. But don't be fooled, other knives would also not be able to baton this as it is so incredibly tough with all these knots. Yeah, the knife is uh, under a lot of stress. Don't know if you can see it, but it's bent. Oh yeah. Nice. Am I continuing, Martin? Should I continue? Because I have the feeling I can do it. Oh, if you have the feeling, let's go. So I went on for about five more minutes and then decided that we would save this piece of wood for last. Otherwise, the chances are too high for it breaking. But for those interested, here's another normal piece of wood. So it's reasonable, it's a seven and a half. Okay. Seven and a half, but it is very nice. Snipe is doing really well overall. Yeah, it's really good. So it's even doing so well that I'm gonna, instead of just making a fire, I'm gonna make it a little challenge. So I'm just gonna time it and I think I should be able to, from nothing, make a fire in under two minutes. Oh, okay. Let's so go. Martin, you're gonna time it? Yeah, go. Oh no! Destruction test! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, this is doing it really well. A little bit optimistic. Hey, I had a flame, I had a flame, I had a flame. Okay. Yep. Say stop if we even need me to stop. Yeah, you can stop it. So that's 1 minute 45, 46. So, and normally if you would have done your preparations well. You have like a feather sticking, well, a feathered stick actually in this case, and you just light it up. That is how easy it is. Now you just have a fire, Martin. Yeah. That's the way. This is the way. While the fire is getting ready to cook our nice food on, we wanted to show you how this knife keeps its edge. The Yakari Puko with the same steel could barely manage two cuts. So let's see how this knife does with three cuts. Oh yeah. This knife does start sharper. Okay, so definitely damaged. Okay. Whoa, so Martin, did you see that? Let's drop it over some clean leather. Oh, oh yeah! I mean, there are some... Jesus! Okay, compared to CPM 3V, be better than average 3V or, or I would same? say in terms of bug, I would say kind of the same. That's really impressive. I mean, this is obviously a very thin knife, so probably if this was made of CPM 3V, it would perform better. But the mere fact that, I don't care about how it is grinded, the mere fact that it somehow can perform as well as CPM 3V, it's unbelievable. Yeah, so it beats the Jakari Puko in extra tension. Oh, gosh, I did it. I did it heel makkelijk. Is it sick? Yeah, this is really easy. But it rusts and really quickly. Whoa, this knife has a lot of oxidation on it, but in a kind of cool way, actually. Whoa, that's kind of patina. Yeah, and the patina really brings forth that hardening line and the soft the between the softer steel and the harder yeah, steel. Yeah, but I'm really it looks as if it's It's almost laminated. Yeah. Great comeback in my head. Here we are. I'm ready to get for for food prepping, this knife gets eight and a half nine. No. 
It's just no, but for a bushcraft knife, not for yeah, like no, a, no, a not, knife. Not, I mean, for, not for a kitchen knife, but for a bushcraft knife. Yeah. Let's see how we go through a tomato. Meet, meet, meet. I would be heading down. Here we are, I'm ready to go. This looks rock good. Rock her on, dude, rock her on. Ooh. I like it. And I love that it's chicken. Yeah. What do you give it? I love when it's moist and soft. Yeah, I would give this an eight. It's, it's, I like it a lot. I'm also gonna give it an eight. Whoa. Martin. Success. Thanks. In the next test, we'll make four 10 packs as fast as possible because when you're out and about, you don't have time to carve a beautiful 10 pack. You gotta get that tent shelter up as quickly as possible. Three, two, one, start. Let's rock. One. Done. Okay. That's uh, five minutes and 50 seconds. That's... In five minutes? At 50 seconds, you made... Whoa. That's just a little bit more than one minute per, 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 per herring. Ten stick, ten pack. Yeah, and I mean, in my opinion, they all look pretty okay. Martin, can you please review them? Usable, 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 usable. This is all, this is, you don't need more than this. You even got the hook. Yeah, imagine this being a tent. This is a very adjustable. And then you tighten it. And that's your 10 pack working like a charm. And there's really a lot of tension on this thing. Done. Your life is saved. Thanks, DPK. Oh, no, 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 you're welcome. Only thing we, we offer a giveaway, but oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, your web shop, you can buy stuff, yeah. But, oh, no, thank you, DPK. Oh, thank you for saving my life that I now know how to make 10 pack in five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, I only has five minutes. Thank you. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. Oh, yeah. Every <laughs> week, every week, every week. Oh, no. <laughs> now, to end it all, remember that piece of wood that was breaking the knife? Well, let's beat the crap out of that thing till it breaks. We forgot to mention that this knife did actually get a small chip because of that piece. There's one minor chip. Is that because you hit the steel or is that the, the, the thing that was already? That was already. Okay, that's impressive because you hit that steel pretty it has hard. nothing nothing from hitting that steel oh and i wonder that if i stop it now stop it quite a bit because we have the next challenge coming up if we can actually pretty much restore this edge oh after hitting steel after batoning an impossible piece after doing the rope cutting test and just a bit, a little bit of DBK combo. <laughs> oh no! Now one more time, full power. Do you see how badass that knot is, and how strong it is? I mean, look what the knife did. It broke a part of the of the. Yeah, the lock. Yeah, which almost flew against my head. Yeah, nice. <laughs> but this knife is still intact, and that's how strong a knot is. Yeah. Oh my god, it did it, Martin. And that's why it's not good for your knife. <laughs> you know what I also saw? Get it. I went against... <laughs> it is one hell of a knife. 
It's a badass knife, damn it. Thank you. Wait. This is gonna be one good conclusion, Martin. Let's go. But first, join our giveaway, which is... We are giving away the Falk Neven NL2 Embla, thanks to DBK. The TRC Classic Freedom, thanks to Tools for Gems. Lion Steel T6, thanks to Blade HQ. The UG Tools Tiny Magna Cut, thanks to UG Tools. The Rocca Corti Suturi, thanks to Fulis Leica. And the Workshop Field Shopper, thanks to Workshop. Wow, what a giveaway. The only thing you need to do is join the Royal Knife Club on our Patreon, which is in the link in the description. Yeah. So the Rocca Knife. Corpus Oturi. Yeah, rape it. Rape the name. I really wanted to review it. I really hoped you liked it because I didn't lie in this video. It's a classic I am actually design. blown away. I mean, it acted as a super steel, but it is not yeah. a super steel. And also the Yakari Buka, which has the same steel. And it's funny because in, it's, in, it's very traditional in the way that it's, it, the heat treatment is even very traditional. The yeah. knife shape is very traditional, a traditional Puko. Yet, it is 2023 with the handle. Let's Seriously. give them the positives. I will start off. Weatherproof handle, not cold in hand. A perfect Scandi grind. A perfect Scandi grind. Very secure sheath. Amazing steel and heat treatments. So the two, two positives. Yeah. Nice and sharp spine. Perfect bushcrafting size. I, I love the size and yeah. I also kind of love the geometry. The price. It's 130 euros. That is, especially in this time. It's almost, it's, I, I would say this is almost unrivaled. Yeah. Unrivaled in the whole knife world. The negatives, do you want to start? Do you know any negatives? It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to, to say any negatives about this knife. I know one negative. I'm not the biggest fan of the handle design. It is not bad. I mean, I gave it a seven. Yeah. But if we have to look for drawbacks, that, that would be one. Yeah, the and ergonomics the, of the handle? This or? is. Also yeah, crazy the, the, the because the of the handle, maybe the I mean, I like okay. it, um, but once you start using it a lot, you get I'm not wearing a lanyard on One this knife. of the reasons but the that this knife is so good and this steel knife this so size well I can put into the almost the same reason pretty as why it rusts so fast. Sick. Yeah. And that is the drawback you have to accept again, when buying a knife like this. No chips. All right, chips. ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. No chips. See you next Thursday, 1 p.m. PC. And I hope you check out the gbkshop.com because we have all sorts of new stuff. Let's see if it's Bye! Bye! Wacht, wacht, wacht. You. It is still able to shave. See? No hair here. Yeah, crazy. It is.